Hi guys, it's me again. Um, on my last video I got cut off because um, I went over time, I wasn't paying, paying attention to the time. So I had to cut it short and I didn't get to finish saying some of the important points that I wanted to hit. So my last video I was just talking about how I have this new perspective that I've been trying really hard already and getting pretty wrapped up and worked up about um, trying to get pregnant. And as a believer, I want to put my faith in the Lord and that when it's the right time, it'll happen and I don't have to try so hard and I can just relax and, and see if it happens naturally. Um, however, I feel like I can say that because it's just, you know, it's the third month of trying. But something really important that I wanted to say is that I know a lot of you women on here that I watch that are so inspiring to me are having a very difficult time um, conceiving. There's fertility issues, um, PCOS, things like that. And I've seen some of the, co the comments on your pages where people try to be helpful and they say just pray, um, it's all in God's hands, when the time is right it'll just happen. I can only imagine how I would feel if 12 months from now, 24 months from now, I still wasn't pregnant and someone told me that I just needed to pray. Pray more. Have faith. And it would happen. I'm not really one of those people who feels exactly that way. Yes, I believe that we need to have faith and that we need to have a prayer life. But I believe that if something is wrong, if there's something not right with our body, if something's not working, we need to see a doctor. You know what I mean? Like, you have to get help. You have to get the problem fixed. And and that is just, and then you, you, you have faith in that way, you know, that, that, that God would lead you to the right doctor or um, help you get better, these things. But, you know, we have to be, we have to be proactive and we have to, you just don't sit around and sit on your hands and just wait, you know, forever. Like if something's going on, then you need to figure it out and you need to fix it. You know, it would be the same thing. Fertility would be the same thing as having lung cancer and someone telling you just to sit at home and pray. You just need to pray. And, you know, hopefully your lung cancer will go away and you'll live. I don't know. Like, so I just really wanted to clear that up. Um, I don't want to sound like I think that there's anything wrong with... Excuse me. It's kind of late. <laughs> kind of tired. I don't think that there's anything wrong with all of the things that we're trying, you know, that all of us women on here are trying to do to get pregnant. I just, I just sort of realized that I was doing it on my own and I wasn't really um, being so open to God and to His timing, you know, and, and leaning on Him um, and trusting that when I didn't get pregnant, you know, that it was, it was okay. It was okay for right now, you know. But that was just really important for me to share because um, I wouldn't want you to think that I feel that way. You know what I mean? And I really, I just, I really want to have a baby. <laughs> and I'm hoping that it's going to happen soon as I hope that it happens for all of us soon. Um, but yeah, I do believe that, um, I don't know, <laughs> I believe in a lot of things, but, um, all right, I'm starting to get really sleepy and I'm trying to fight back yawns, so I will, um, keep you updated. I do want to do another video to tell you about my best friend who's potty training her her baby and it's really interesting. Two of my best friends have these stories that I want to share with you because it's pretty 
cra it's pretty awesome. But I think I'll do that maybe tomorrow or something. So um, I hope that you all had a really great weekend and that you have a great week uh, ahead of you. And um, I will talk to you very soon. All right. Bye, guys.